think I need all of them. Seven, I'll take all seven. Fluke, Fluke Ivor, but not Fluke Ivor. Triclabendazole, Fasinex, maybe the one. Just to make sure it's, uh, it's the one. Can I get the big one of that, please? How many, how many sheep would that do it? 70 kilos. 416, roughly. 416. 16. That's it, if you want the 60 kilo, but. So that's, that's high as it goes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's uh, 14 mil, so let's say 350. So I'll take two of them to get us started, I think, please. Aye. Okay, where are if I need another one? Good. Boluses, that, and uh, 50 mil of foot vax, please. As well, if I have a 50 mil bottle, and I think that's me ready to rock. Expensive start today. But at least you spend a lot of money and you're getting a smile, at least it's not the worst. Morning. <laughs> Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep is the game. It's about the only game for me. Matt, and of course, merch. Check out the merch store. Check out our lovely Welsh hoodies. I've got to say, like the Irish ones, like the Scottish Sheen ones. But I just love the dark green and red on this, like it's bra. So, we've just been into Tar Valley. We've just spent a lot of money. £70 a box for boluses, so 50 boluses, £70. As, oh, excuse me, I'm listening to Rory Short's book, um, Politics on the Edge. 50 boluses for £70 is, is that £1.40 per bolus? I think it is £1.40 per bolus, so another investment into sheep, you're £1.40 per bolus, £2.40 for foot vax. Uh, the fast necks there uh, that we've bought for uh, fluke drench is, is probably quite cheap, but let's call it let's call it 60 pence to round it up nicely, kinda. Um, so that's uh, 4 40 per sheep before you do anything. Dipping them would be, let's say, a pound, that's 5 40 per sheep. You know, we're dagging them out and stuff as well, but there's no real cost to that except our time. But let's add a pound of sheep on for your time involved in that. £6.40 per sheep before you've done anything, that's just the pre tupping procedures. You're £6.40 away. Alright, the foot vax is an exceptional one, it should only be windows, so let's 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 call it £5.20 because it's an exceptional year. The first year you have to do them twice, after that you should just do them once. So £5.20 just to get you going. Right, so here we go. Fasten X, we're just hooking this up to our auto done. We've got Mark here, as always, a legend. And we're going to try and hook this stuff up here, but it is very, very windy today. I'm on this little microphone. Hopefully it's doing me justice here. And yeah, at least it's dry. It's dry. So as I said briefly, we're going to fasten X. We're going to bolus, uh, copper included in this bolus. And we are going to foot vax. And I think that's it. And the doors, obviously. And just uh, record everything and get them up in the system. And you'll get a look at them. Right, try that. Let me check the power source in this. Battery percentage is hopefully high enough to do this job. 25%. Oof. It should do 50 sheep, I would think. The battery's really, really good. I will say that for it. Um, now I've got this hooked around the wrong way. I can't pull that tube out. I'll pull this tube out. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Cammy. Oh, Cammy. I've had a wee accident. I need to hold this above the bottle now, but I put the bottle so high, you know, I can't get my arm round. Right. Yeah, it's on. Wow. Half the bottle gone already. That's added to the cost. Little thing with the foot vax is you don't want to heat it, but you want it kind of uh, warmer than it naturally is. So what we'll do is we'll stick it in close to the body. I need to keep that box because I need to record the the number on it when we're finished, when we update Herdwatch, we'll show you that at the end. Comes with this little plastic thing like this, dead simple. Take the old needle that you used last day, just stick it through the little holes there. Don't do this with your new needle. If you do this, you need to change the needle. You just need to catch the little plastic bit where it's actually bloody held on to. And then you'll get it. There we go, done. Then we just stick this through. Through. It's 
It's a bit of funny. I actually like it. It's, it's maybe not as good as the cord, but it, it actually works really well. On like that. Now, am I putting this around my neck or am I hanging this up as well? I'll probably hang this up as well. Like that there. Only 50 doses in here, so don't want to waste it. Yeah, I did just say I was going to put this in close to my body, then I totally forgot, but thankfully, it's still, although it's windy, it's still about 15 degrees here today, so I know what I've done. Look, I haven't taken the, the cap from the last bottle out of this one that's come off with it, so here's my first dose wasted. I've only got 50 doses. One of these sheep is not getting dosed, at least. Sorry, mate. I've made a mistake there. Didn't take the cap out of this. What have I got for this job? There we go. Trusty set of shears with no spring in it. It's annoying when it does that in foot vacs, but it's even more annoying when it does it with a big bottle of Dictamax, as it sometimes does. Oh, it's all going to plan. These things, that's what happens. These things are tricky. Someone's put this on the incorrect way, but that's okay. This actually goes up through the bottom here. But of course, now it's all splayed, it's not that easy, but one benefit of that is it makes it quite difficult to pull it off. Almost ready to rock. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. We've got the, the iPad. We need to set it up for the automated dozing. These sheep are going to be very light. You know, I'd be surprised if they're 40 kilos. They'll be about 40 kilos. Yeah, they'll be 40 kilos, I think, are thereabouts. Foot vax, one dose. Those are the fluke Ivar and a bolus. Three things. There's nice wee narrow tight tails. You don't need dagged out. They're fine. The bolus job. These boluses are a bit of a nightmare. They're just huge. Huge. But... I'm led to believe they're the best. Don't quote me on that, I just I just use them because, yeah, I think Kaz told me, farm vet Kaz told me that they'd done well in a study, so I use them. Just ask your vet. First sheep's coming up, everything's set up the way I would want it to be. I've got my dozing gun, vaccinating, bolus, nearly forgot that, and I've not got a jacket on for pockets. Oh my God, and I've lost the bolus gun. Oh, there it's right there. I've loaded one in already. There we go. Gate open, auto catch, manual release. Okay, I might need to play about with the I might need to play about with the settings a bit just to bring these sheep forward because they're so small. I might get that bolus down there. I'm not even sure if I did. These could be tricky, these guys. Right. Let's see this. Uh, Dag behind the ear. Foot vax. Those. Oh, better prime it. Just press the P and it just primes it. Oh. And it's getting 7.7 .7 mil. It was 35 ish kilos. I can't just see what it is now. There we go, sheepy. Bolus jagged. Good to go. We'll bring them back through and record all the tags at the end. I spent so much of this video talking nonsense to the camera that by the time I started working with the sheep, the GoPro battery died. And when I replaced it, I forgot to switch the microphone on. The wind noise makes it unwatchable. Not just the wind noise though. Watching me faff around with all these different implements, it's a hard watch. I'm a few days behind with the vlogs, so believe me when I say this gets much more streamlined after we've done a few more sheep. Emptied out the dozing gun, we have brought the stuff round, that's the sheep done. Let's quickly update Herdwatch, I'll show you how to do that. It is a doddle. Open up Herdwatch. Now I haven't recorded these sheep yet, we're just going to go and do that. But I want to add a remedy purchase, that's what we're going to do here. So, screen recording. You see my homepage there, I'm then going to select 
uh, remedy purchase and dead easy we're going to go foot vax there it's there copy details from previous purchase quantity purchase this time it was 50 mils supplied by tarf valley one mil per dose it's a vaccine all the details are there enter the batch number which is written on the box just here that's dead easy it's two four eight five and if some of you guys are doing your medicine books and you are trying to come up with batch numbers to write in, there's a lot of head start for you there, so you know the format to use. February. Not that I would suggest anyone does that, obviously. Okay. Okay, that's done. Oh, cost. I'm not sure the cost of a 50ml bottle, to be honest with you. Right, done. Right, that's that all added. Now we'll scan the sheet. I don't think I filmed that there, but we're loaded. Let's go take them to grass. Let's go, let's go. Okay, this is, we're doing a little switcheroo here, so we're not gonna let these out the now. What we're gonna do is run the other lambs in round the back there, pen them up, let these out, switch the gates, and pen them up, and, and take them home. So we're doing a straight switch on this ground here. Just a kind of bit that I've had some smaller lambs running on for a little while just to try and keep the top of it a bit. The grass got away from me here. We're working on these things every year, try to do them better. Um, but it's it's not that easy. It's not easy, you'll see here. Got away from us a bit. Really need to, to keep on top of this. Keep it heavier stocked in the spring. It was too late in the summer time we got sheep onto it. I'll get this topped and maybe run over it with the harrows in the spring or whatever really uneven ground as well. My, I have a, my big heavy boots on today. These big heavy Z Zambaland. Zambaland is the brand, they're Italian, allegedly. Um, I want to say they're like 200 pounds. But I remember out one day working somewhere and I uh, just kind of stick away on wellies. So I just wear these instead of wellies. No water gets in these. Feet are far better for it. Ankles protected. Good thick sole, comfy all day major win over wellies. Now I'm not saying if you're standing in a milking parlour, if I, even if I was milking cows I'd be wearing this because your leggings go right down the front. They're fully waterproof. Regular dubbing. I get on my high horse quite a lot, don't I? Let's see if Meg will get all these and I wonder what's the chances. Come by. Fern just ruins it though. She runs straight at them. Come by Meg. At least Meg's got a bit of an outrun. Problem is, she only has one outrun in her now and then she's knackered. God knows where Fern's going. I'll end up, there's Fern coming back, that's good. Meg's away down round him, you won't see it in the GoPro. But she's away down the hill out of sight. She's just too old to be honest with you, time she gets down there she's knackered. And that's that's why we keep Fern for that, that exuberance, that youthful exuberance. Although, Meg might get in a pickle down there if there's a heap of lambs in the corner. I should really go and check. Uh, I get so impatient when I'm walking. But the ankle's so well strapped up, I'm just taking the chance to run. I better look down here in case there's a wee hole in the fence in case I've ran through it. No, they have. Oh, they have. Two of them have. I knew I should have came and checked what I was doing first. Hello, Meg. Good dog. I'll try Fern, maybe. Come by, Fern. Meg's coming back. Come by. Straight at them. Hello, Fern. Hello, Fern. Hello, Meg. Good dog. Hello, Meg. Come by. Too wide, she goes. Yeah, you can't be too wide. So, you know, with sheepdogs, they should always go. Meg's not a good example of a sheepdog, really. I mean, she's great for my job, but she should go to the f as far as she can to the fence and come in behind them. If Fern runs straight, lie down, lie down, lie down. If Fern, the way Fern runs straight at them there, they just end up in the corner. It also makes it harder for the dog if they don't do a big outrun. Because if Meg takes a big outrun, the sheep see her at the last possible second, and by the time they see her, they start running the way she wants them. If she runs too tight, they'll run further away from her and she's got to work so much harder just to get there. Right, getting these two outs. There it is, there it is. Oh, beautiful. That's fishermen that take that fence down to fish. Or fish are thems, whatever Sam Smith says you meant to say. Fish are thems. We are PC here, I will say that. They're new fern. Hopefully they'll go and join their cronies that are now up the top there. 
Oh, I will get get out in a second. Oh no, steady, steady. Sorry, Uncle. This lamb's not yours. That stuff at one's not yours either. I wonder if I just uh, fell out and we'll go in the tap deck. Hopefully, then we can pull it out. Take your gates with you. Ah, uh, well, if you can get them right to the trailer gate, then we're laughing. Lamb's loaded. Back to the ranch. That's the lambs here. They're just all homebred lambs really, they're just, I'm just really to see, interested to see the weights of them. 42.8 that first one. There's a couple of lame, lame ones we need to sort out. What's that? 40. Is that a lame one? Thirty-one point five. That's not as flash. It's good. I'll see them actually as they walk around here. If they need treated for their feet, they're very clean lambs. It's clean, although it's not very good grass. You'll never finish lambs on it. It's quite clean. So there's no no worries there to worry about. Just out checking the lambs myself and Mark. Pleasure cruising around in the bike, especially because he's opening the gates for me. It's great. But I'll just drop some Crystalix off to the store lambs, the lambs are trying to get finished. They, they should have had buckets already, but we moved them into a different field a little while ago and left the buckets lying in that field. So this is me just getting around to it. Should have been done a while ago. And interestingly, I was at a vet's conference. I'm not sure if I mentioned that on the vlog. I was at a vet's conference recently, a sheep vet conference in Glasgow. And it, one of the young vets came up to me. I was well chuffed, come up to me and said, I actually learned something uh, from your chat. Not been patronising, they're like, actually, you actually taught me something. Because uh, I was saying about how clever everyone there was and how I was just the stupidest one, you know, the thickest one there. And she's like, well, no, no, actually, you taught me something. You guys have been watching the channel for, for a while. We'll remember last year, our bigger lambs had got crystal X and the beautiful skin, you know, hairs on their head, nice clean ears. And the, the small lambs that we hadn't been given lick buckets to were all crusty. And that's a sign of lack of cobalt, and that, that's a, something they learned from from the sheep game. So I was well chuffed for that, and I actually had loads of comments about that, about the cobalt thing, and how since people either started using Crystalix or giving the lambs some sort of cobalt, it, it's made a big difference to that. So yeah, that's that's one to watch for. If they have crusty ears, think about the cobalt. What an excessively long video this has been, sheep fans. If you've got this far incredible do let me know in the comments that you made it to the end i'm just voicing over this little bit because i didn't actually do an ending to this video we just continued on checked the rest of the sheep including these girls that are behind an electric fence to try and make them eat down some rougher parts of the field and to try out the electric fencing which is doing an incredible job as you can see there there's roughly 450 sheep shut behind the fence and they're all keen to get out now they want that fresh bite on the other side but it's holding up doing its job you can just drive over it as we do there. But that's us for this one, sheep fans. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one.